Oh, nice, nice. I really didn't want to eat, so... It's a good thing the outlay hit. Nice, just hit 600 Zami KC. Very nice. Just uh, hit 25 kills this trip, and I'm still going. Alright. That's it. I'm leaving now. Time to get out of here, but yeah, 26 kill trip. I don't think I'll be able to beat that unless I bring like a Sam Fu Serum as a backup or something, but yeah. That's very nice. Oh, shit, nice. 182 Hellhounds. I guess I'm gonna be uh, finishing Cerberus sooner than I thought. Oh, I didn't get anything, but yeah. That was tough, man. Oh, Elite Clue Scroll, yes. Alright, I'm doing a clue then. Alright, yo, let's open this up, man. Fresh Alpha Rays, here we go. Half a nut sack. What we get? <gasps> no way, dude. Holy shit, what is going on? Holy shit. That's insane, man. Okay, here goes nothing, guys. I, I, I can't believe it, man. I guess this month might be race month, honestly. Here goes nothing. Oh, okay, okay. Dragon Hunter Crossbow. Alright. How much are these nowadays? Jesus Christ, man. They're 40 mil now. Ever since they buffed the crossbow, definitely. It has more uses. Oh my god, that was clutch. Nice. Killed it right before the they could do anything. That's a really good trip. Managed, uh, what was that? 12 kills with a T-bow. Oh, snap. Oh my god. <laughs> Cerberus is just so fast-paced. That I already hit a thousand KC two kills ago, and now I just realized that brings us to eight bosses left for a thousand KC. Ninety. Oh my god, I'm so off. <laughs> Shit, ten would have gone out of a hundred of these. Ultra Shaman. Oh yes, Elite Clue Scroll. Very nice. Good stuff. Fresh from raids. Here we go, guys. Oh my god, seriously? No freaking way, dude. I have one already. Oh man, that's a freaking rare as fuck of an item, man. But too bad, it's already something I have. The first one is okay, you know, I was pretty happy with that. The second one, dude, seriously. It's the first day that the episode came out, and man, I'm going through these comments, and this is a tough choice, guys. So many people have called for Blorite, Elemental, and Lava Kites. And a good amount of, you know, everything else as well. So, you know, seen just about everything being called. Actually, Dahlia was a close fourth. But honestly, Blorite seems to be the most demanded one. Just because, yeah, just Blorite, 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 you know? Just non-stop Blorites. But, I mean, at the very least, if you didn't choose Blorite, you know, I respect your, you know, choices here, but yeah, guys, we gotta go with the Blorite, man. That's definitely the most demanded, so it's time to go ahead and uh, transform this golem to the Bloy color. Uh, actually, yes, it does look really good, although I would be keen to, you know, change it to Lava Cat or a Dahlia or something, you know what I mean? Like, I will switch it up. Alright, guys, it is time for the weekly room crafting level. Not sure how long I can keep this up, just cause, you know, it is pretty slow still. Just a lot of time spent AFKing, but yeah, 89 room crafting, guys. 500k to the next one. Wow, dude. Getting 90 on room crafting would be a really nice achievement, though. Did a bit of some random mining. Uh, actually got myself a thousand plus volcanic ash. I think I'm probably gonna plan on doing some farming soon. Probably to replenish on super combats and super restores mainly and the occasional bruise for the 99s. Oh snap, what the fuck? I just hit 91 smithing. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's nice dude. Just hit 91 smithing. Well, that was unexpected. I mean, I'm just making some silver bars so I can uh, make some amulet of chemistry for the potions I'm gonna make, but yeah. I didn't even realize I was that close to a level, so that's dope. All right, guys, so for my uh, quick Herbler grind, I'm gonna be making 834 Super Restores, 
And also, I'm gonna be making. Let's check out my tour skills. I'm gonna be making a thousand and eight super combat. So I don't have any red spiders eggs. So I'm actually gonna go and gather some from the Tower of Life. I've heard so much good news about it uh, when it comes to gathering red spiders egg there. So we're gonna do some testing there. All right. So for Tower of Life, I need to get some sardines, you know, and some red spider eggs to solve the process and yes the freaking relica spot is the beast because i got the sea boots four which teleports me there right away and yeah you can just buy a basically shit ton of raw sardines in no time i mean i doubt any of you guys are really gonna need this but just cool to know that this method kind of exists all right i'm on my last kill for uh, this one hour session here, bought myself, what was it, 180 something sardines, and from that, I got over 600 red spider eggs, man, this is amazing stuff, let me just check out the bank and see how much I got, should be around 600, yeah, oh my god, that's amazing, 663 from 200 sardines about, yeah, I would say it's about 500 to 600 red spider eggs an hour, that's amazing though, so I'm definitely going to keep doing this method though, if I need uh, any more red spider eggs, that's for sure. Alright, some updates came out, quality of life, hashtag, but yeah, one of the big ones, they, they did a few things for raids. So, they just have the planks that you normally need for each of the banks, so small instead of four, you only need two, so that's really good. It'll save me some time for sure, from having to collect the... If I ever get Ice Demon in my raids. Alright, back to back elite clues, literally. Here we go. Oi. Oi. Okay, 164k. Nice hit. What the hell is 79? Okay. I believe that's the current max under these conditions. Oh my god, dude. Three elite clue scrolls from raids in one day. Alright, so wrapped up on Cerberus earlier. And that was the last time we'll ever see that boss since we reached a thousand, but next task, Fossil Island Wyvern. So I'm definitely gonna keep doing these tasks. They're new and they do have some interesting drops that I might get lucky and score, but I wanna test out right now at the uh, Ancient Wyvern. So they overall made all the Fossil Island Wyverns a bit weaker defensively, so I want to see just how much easier it is now, you know, with the defense reduction, so... Suffering is so good here, because these guys always goddamn spam you with their stupid icy breaths. And yeah, the suffering just recrawls every little bit back. Even if I, you know, get hit a 2 or a 5, I always will hit it back at least 1 damage with the uh, suffering, so it's so good. That's a pretty uh, decent trip. Made a decent amount of the GPs. 250k from like what maybe 15 kills or something all right just wrapped up on my second ever ancient wyvern test the goal was just to find out how much easier the ancient wyverns are now after they uh made their defense a bit lower and it's a lot easier definitely you can pretty much extend your trip by double than what you used to and i think i made probably close to a mil from the 48 kills but oh my god yo you see what i'm saying I said, Zami, and this is what I get, dude. 90 Zami bosses, bro. Zami boss. Oh, I'm at almost 600, so that's gonna get me close to 700 KC after this task, so that's good. Oh my god, all three. Can I do this? Oh my god, I love when this happens, dude. Barraging all three of them. It's the best thing ever, man. Oh, Staff of the Dead! Oh, my god. Come over here, bro. Yo, my second ever Staff of the Dead. Damn, that's sick. They brought out the Staff of the Light. In order to make it, you can put the Light of Ceridom in and fuse it with the Staff of the Dead to get a Staff of the Light. So, I guess I could do that. I don't see why not. Okay, so I do have some uh, extra Ceridomin's Lights. I don't really know how this works. I just use it on the Staff of the Dead. Oh, okay, combine the staff with the light. Yes, combine them. I know it can't be undone. Oh, shit. It, it can't be undone? 
I guess I'll go for it. Why not? Here we go. Staff of Light. Wow, man. It's crazy because I, you know what I mean? I used to use this shit. But it doesn't look the same. It looks different. Uh, I mean, it looks cool. It definitely reminds me of the original Staff of the Dead. I think I like the original more, though. But yeah, it's, it looks pretty dope, though. It's a nice collector's item, I suppose. So, the Staff of Light is the same exact stats as the Staff of the Dead. So, it isn't better than in really any way. Uh, this counts, I believe, as a Ceridum item, and you can auto-cast the Ceridum and Strike instead of the Zermak Flames, though. That's cool. So, there, there's another option there for you guys to use. We're gonna put the Staff of the Light next to the Staff of the Dead. Alright, finally found some time to make the potions I needed. So I ended up going back up to 1,000 Super Combats and made myself 800 Super Restore 3 doses. So the next potion I would probably focus on in a later bit would be to stock back up on the Cerado and Bruce. And it's a good timing too because I do want to get my 1,000 mole kills at some point so they will work perfectly together. Whoa! Oh my god. How the hell do I see another dragon imping just like that? Wow. Damn, this is the second time I found one just like randomly being here, you know? Sick. Give me that. What we get here? Ow. Oh well. That was exciting though. Alright, so Staff of the Light's really good for getting kill counts for Zami. I used to use the Hosta, but the thing is if I brought the Hosta, I would need to bring a Holy Blessing instead. So with the Staff of the Light, I can bring the Unholy One and I can just uh, put on my equipment, you know, for the boss fight right here before and not get attacked by the minions because before I had to like kind of time it right, you know, go in quickly so the minions don't attack me, but I don't have to care about that anymore because the Unholy Blessings got me covered, so I might as well just eat one of the food. Oh, nice, a Godsword Shard. Okay, just finished the Zami task. But yeah, 721 KC now, that means I need uh, around 280 left. So a few more Zami tasks to go, but hell yeah. Really fun boss, so looking forward to the next. Drop bars as noted instead, yeah, there we go. Alright, there we go. The bars should be noted. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes! 146 Blue Dragons. Oh my god, that's awesome, man. That means I can do some forecast. I kinda miss that boss. Nice hit. What is that? 85. Nice. I don't think I've ever hit higher than uh, 84 until just now, so. Northern War. Oh no! I can't even do this clue! <clears throat> I had them before when I was getting Spitbar legs a long time ago. Who knew Master Clues would have required that, honestly. Oh, uh, I got a Flam Tier helmet. Ooh, Flam Tier bag. Let me just see what that is. Oh, Swamp Pace? Oh, that's dope. I didn't even know you can get it from that. Okay. Yes! We're done! That didn't take too long. And yes, I did realize that I do have a split bot body in one of the hidey holes, but honestly, I might as well just make another one so I can, you know, complete both hidey holes and not have to go back and forth between them, so... Okay, buy the body. Yeah, nice. Honestly, I've never made split bark before. Seriously, it took forever to get to this clue. Hopefully, I will get a good reward from it. Here we go. Ah, So it's time to update the progress sheet guys On God Wars while I was making my way to a thousand Zami boss KC I ended up getting my second ever Staff of the Dead Which actually allowed me to make the Staff of Light The new item that came out A nostalgic new item I would say And also in the raid side Made a little bit of progress on that as well Not on the pants unfortunately but I did get my 5th Dragon Hunter Crossbow, yeah, so I have 5 of those now. And I ended up getting a level as well, I believe, in smithing. So now I should be at 91 smithing. And one last thing, let's move on to the boss KC goal. So I did end up getting 1000 Cerberus KC on this episode, so that's another boss done. Also made good progress on Zami. I'm at 700 plus now. I'm going to be wrapping up today's video here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date with videos from this channel, then please subscribe. That way you'll know exactly when the next video will come out. 
I do try to release a video at least once a week. Hope to see you guys soon with another video. Take care.